Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you the performance of this PC right here, the Performance Plus, and the difference between 32 gigs and 16 gigs, and if it's worth getting that 32 gig upgrade, especially with the price of RAM right now. I already have all of the benchmark results written down on this sticky notepad, uh, and the results were a little surprising to me. So let me share those with you and show you what I have found. Starting off with 16 gigs in Marvel Arrivals, this is with DLSS on performance and overall low setting preset, we got an average of 93 FPS with some highs in the low 100s. This is pretty solid performance considering this is a more highly demanding game. And we're already rocking a pretty good budget combo here with the Ryzen 5 5500 and the RTX 5050. But is 16 gigs enough for higher demanding games like this? Well, when you go to 32 gigs, it ups our average FPS FPS to 109. So we get more than a 10 FPS increase on average. And this is still low settings, the exact same. But the whole question of this video is that extra increase in price right now with RAM. I mean, this is DDR4 RAM. Is that extra increase worth it for maybe... 15 extra frames uh for this game it's still very playable you're not going to really notice on low settings especially we now we if we turn it up to medium low settings we get 75 fps average um for a more competitive game like this there wasn't any weird dips and it did jump a little bit higher but on average we were getting about 75 now with 32 gigs that only gives you a two FPS increase, which I found pretty interesting that it was so much on low settings. But that's why I think this benchmark video is important because even though you're getting double the RAM, it might not be worth it right now with the price to get 32 gigs. Now that is specific to this game right now, and I'll show you some more benchmarks later. But I know the question has been floating around right now, especially in the PC gaming industry, is 16 gigs of DDR4 going to be good enough here in 2026 and it looks like that it doesn't really change much in this competitive game now if we move to a single player highly graphic demanding game focusing more on the gpu this is black myth wukong medium settings using fsr and just all the presets for medium we are getting an average of 95 fps again it fluctuates pretty normally depending on the scene but this game and single player cinematic games like this are going to be very gpu dependent so that rtx 50 50 is doing pretty good work and on medium settings 1080p 95 is not bad performance now when we up that to 32 gigs we only saw a one fps increase which i thought was kind of crazy i thought we would see more even though this is a more gpu dependent game maybe if i turned up the settings to high or just cranked them up even higher we would have saw more of a difference between the fps but if you're not too interested in the highest settings and just want the most bang for buck pc right now 16 gigs is looking pretty dang good especially for this build so let's move on to the next game now of course i had to put a competitive first person shooter in there and on high settings we were looking at about an average of 189 fps and this is an older game so high refresh rate 1080p on a pc like this is what you want to strive for now with 32 gigs you do get that 10 fps increase with 199 fps average based on all of these benchmarks it doesn't look like doubling your ram and ddr4 is going to be that worth it for these games and probably any other ones i I chose a pretty wide range here, but it might be better to go with 16 gigabytes now this year, especially with the prices. Save your money on the RAM and maybe put it into storage or buy a better cooler. Do some other upgrade that might show better results this year and then when prices drop maybe it'll be good to get 32 gigs but what we were seeing in 2024 and even most of 2025 the meta was becoming 32 gigs was the norm it was what you wanted in a gaming pc but it looks like now 16 is going to be pretty valid depending on the games that you're going to be playing. And luckily this is a pretty balanced build, so there's not much of a bottleneck. And although you did see a FPS increase for the most part, and I'm sure if you tweak the settings a little bit more, you'd see even more of an increase. I don't think 
that 15 to 20 FPS is going to be quite worth it now. But let me know in the comments down below. I did also play Fortnite, but only on the 32 gig benchmarks. And it was doing just fine on medium preset here. And I honestly think it would in 16 gigs as well. The Performance Plus is, is our right at mid-range PC uh, staple build right now. And it offers some modern parts. It's a sleek, clean design. Comes with 5, 12 gigs and 16 gigs, like you saw on the benchmark. With the 32, we have a $125 increase, which is more than it's ever been for RAM. And unfortunately, that just is what it is for today's market. Hopefully, these benchmarks in this video can help you rest assured that 16 should be enough and you shouldn't have to worry about upgrading. So if you're on the sidelines of buying a PC at all right now and really think it's 32 gigs or nothing, that's not entirely true because 16 is going to be plenty, especially if you just want to play the games on medium to high settings. Now, somewhere where you could upgrade that would probably provide more value to you right now would be upgrading to a one terabyte, which storage and NVMe prices have increased as well but they haven't quite um skyrocketed like ram the prices on nvmes are looking to go up even more as well i mean pretty much everything will probably so right now january of 2026 might be the best time to buy this year so if you are on the fence and looking for a gaming pc that can run all the latest do it smoothly looks clean with that little wood trim and offers free shipping and all of the amazing customer support check out this pc right now on pcbros.tech um the link will be in the description if you're interested it might be time to make a decision if you are on the fence maybe this video can help you decide now before it's too late and prices get worse before they get better none of us are hoping for that but unfortunately it looks like it's kind of trending that way so while you got the great benefits like free shipping the one-year warranty and a still valid option here starting with 512 gig 16 gig of ram you can get started on pc gaming before it gets even worse with pricing so that'll be it for today's quick benchmark comparison let me know in the comments down below are you on the fence on getting a gaming pc this year maybe the comments can help you decide because building is not much cheaper right now than a pre-built especially with everything considered a one-year warranty is very nice so uh thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one